Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to react to I'm Trapped at Burning Man. Here's what's actually happening. So I uh, saw a story um, yesterday about Burning Man. So it's basically a festival in Nevada, in the desert. It's held every year. It's kind of like an expression of like creativity and art and stuff like that. But there's something going on. I think there was like a massive flood and it, it's basically turned a lot of the sand into like slush and mud and people can't leave and they're running out of food and water and stuff like that. It's really, really bad. So this video here is ho hopefully it's going to tell us the exact story. What's going on? How this happened? Because you would have thought a festival of this size, it's been going on for so long. They would have all kind of fail safes. They'd have enough, you know, water supply just in case something went wrong. So yeah, I'm really interested to see to see what's gonna go, what's happening here. What's going on, buddy? This is bad. We're at Burning Man, but it's not dusty and windy Ooh, how it's supposed to be. The dry sludge. lake plant is rehydrating. Holy! Oh. Take it there, yeah, you can't drive in that. You're that gonna get any traction. Obscene. That's a cool rainbow, though. Tens of thousands of people are being told to shelter in place at the popular Burning Man Festival because they are literally stuck in the mud. They're trapped. Situation at Burning Man. Enormous sea of hey, mud. Good morning. You know, this is quite the emergency. Festival organizers are telling those attending to shelter in place. Being told to conserve food and water. Burning Man Festival redubbed Muddy Man. Muddy Man. <laughs> All right. Three. Two, one. Uh, yeah, you're not going to drive in that. Well, how long is it going to take to dry out? That'll take forever. It's currently 9.44 a.m. in front of the man on Saturday, which it's supposed to burn tonight at 8 p.m. I don't think it's going to burn. There's a strange, like, dystopian feeling out here, like Burning Man paused in time. There's bikes everywhere. People are just out, and the biggest thing is it's completely silent. There's no music. There's always music. Also, the media people have been flying drones, and I don't have the drone permit. But I have the, I have the foot permit. <laughs> bikes are by far the most common mode of transportation in Black Rock City and have been rendered useless as a mm. mode of transportation. So next to basically every lamppost, there is abandoned bikes laid up waiting for their owners to come retrieve them at a later date. Wow. This is uh, this is known as an art car or a mutant vehicle at Burning Man. Generally, they'll roll around deep playa and play music and a lot of people will follow them around. And there's hundreds of them. Is Burning Man, like have any of you guys been it looks kind of cool, like, from what I've seen in the past. I mean, this year, it's not looking so hot, but, like, in prior years, it seems kind of like a Mad Max kind of vibe. All stuck from, like, this one a couple hundred feet from town to several miles out on Deep Playa with no way to recover them right now. These people jacked theirs up so they didn't sink into the mud, which was smart of them. A friend of mine just texted me. I heard you guys are in a national state of emergency. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Yeah. So Burning Man's a national state of emergency? Uh, supposedly on the outside, in the default world, we are in a national state of emergency. What? I'm freaking out. <laughs> but in all seriousness, how are they going to get out of here? Burning Man's cancelled. We are in Black Rock City, reporting live from the state of emergency in Nevada. What's your name? I'm Dan Cycles. I'm from Mountain View, and I was part of the burn the second year on the playa. And I was consecutively here. Th it seems like they're in good spirits. It doesn't seem like it's as bad as I thought it was. Through 96, and then I took a 28-year hiatus, and I'm back. How do you feel about your first year back? Well, it's the new era of Burning Man. I'm from the original tribe. What? I'm part of Cacophony Society, so I was oh, part wow, of the or amazing. origin of the origin of Burning Man. There were 250 people here when I when I first came here. And how do you feel about wow. what's happening right Seems now? Like this state of emergency. Well, it, it's just a state of emergency. It's uh, the worst conditions I've ever experienced right? on the playa. One thing is remarkable. Catch this. What we're experiencing right now harkens more back to the original Burning Man than the grandiose, over-the-top lights and right. spectacle. It makes Burning Man such an attractive festival or event. The way we are hunkering down. 
How long does it last for Burning Man? Two, three days? Like a week? It's closer to what Burning Man was. Come on, let's be honest. This sucks. It's it's <laughs> it's no fun getting everything wet and having to protect everything. But hey. the, but the conversations that I'm having with people, we're all like experiencing sort of duress together. Yeah, it sort 100%. of opens things up. It strips yeah. you down. You're naked and. And that's more like the intimacy of what Burning Man was that I didn't quite encounter the, 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 the days before. This guy's having like an epiphany. <laughs> he's, to be fair, he's making the most out of the situation. I before the, this inundation. Oh, ah. It's a national state of emergency. What's up with this, dude? Whatever you want with it. Oh, come on. Dick, Action. <laughs> Dick on a stick! <laughs> What's been the most Burning Man thing that's happened to you in the past 24 hours? I had a really fun night last night. Got to perform at Camp Question Mark, get dance, and then I got to hop up, throw my bike in an art car, and drive around in an art car through like the mist and the dust storm and a little bit of raindrop. Wow, this looks cool. So, so this is what, magical. is that what it looks like usually? That looks really cool. cool. Were you invited to perform on stage? Mm-hmm. That's it. Are you a dancer? I am a fire spinner. Could you spin your umbrella? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more. What's your panda's name? My panda's name is Mr. Slinky. What's the significance of that? So it seems like Burning Man is basically like, kind of like a hipster haven kind of thing. Do you? It's just his name. It's right now. Yeah, so trending, yeah. like on Twitter, Burning Man's a national state of emergency. Oh yeah? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah? I Do feel you... we are stuck here. We will have to wait to save food, save water, and wait for the storm terrible. to get over. Do you have enough water and food? I think so. What's your name? Alex. Alex? Judson, nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, my name is Eowyn. Wait, is this your car? No, it's not. I'm just climbing it. Oh, How was boy. it on top? It was amazing. It was bouncy. Did it feel like a national state of emergency? Definitely no. not. <laughs> well, I think Burning I think Man burners really make the best of things. Like, we're already, like, out here pretty prepared. And this just, like, brought everyone together as a community. Like, it definitely brought my camp together. Isn't it funny how the media labeled it a state of an emergency? And I bought into it. That's why I, I found a video to watch about it. You know, they were like, oh, it's people are having to ration. And it's just, it's not really that bad. Like the media exaggerates a lot, doesn't it? Rain just like brought a different kind of chaos and extreme to this entire festival. Last year it was like 50 degrees and this year it's raining and flooding and it's beautiful. I was able to stay out in the sun longer because of the clouds and it was like, it's cool and I could dance longer. It was just, it's a gift. Every, every, every part of this is a gift. What's been the most Burning Man thing to happen to you this burn? This is my first burn. Oh, well, happy first burn. I should have asked you. <laughs> no worries. The flow of, of Burning Man is beautiful. Like, I started the night out climbing the cube and ended out at a sound car trapped by the rain and the wind and the dust and it was exactly where I wanted to be. I was with beautiful people and perfect. So you were on plot. I can tell that a whole lot of uh, illicit substances are consumed at this festival. <laughs> For sure. I uh, when it hit. Oh yeah. How did you get back? Oh, uh, well we just, we just got back. We had really prepared the day before because we knew it was going to rain. So we had like trenched around our camp and made sure everything was up off the ground and got a good crew. You got to have a good crew out here. Where should we go to talk to the next people? That tree. You think there's some good people under that tree? I think there's some good people everywhere. I think that people really need to focus on the community aspect of Burning Man and how people are banding together and pooling their resources and helping everyone else out and making sure people are okay and checking in. That's what we should be focusing on. And if there are negatives, we have to figure out how we can do better in the future. There's a tree in the middle of the desert and someone has climbed it. Wow, is that a tree made out of toilet paper? Oh no, it's not, it's cubes. It's cubes of light. 
currently standing between wow, two planets and in front of the Earth. Well, did you know this Burning Man's a really national cool. state of emergency right now? It's all over the internet. It's like national news. Because of 80,000 people is stranded here, pretty much. So Burning Man is a national state of emergency right now. Really? So we're, we're filming, are you cool with that? <laughs> they have no clue. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay, cool, yeah. This is my first burn. This place is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the fact that I'm here with Karma yeah. is, it, it, as, as my sponsor, as my mentor for this project, it's been absolutely a joy. What was the inspiration behind it? Inspiration is basically this is day day art and night art. It's exactly for burn. This is my seventh burn, so I know what to look for. This you know? is our buddy Roger. This yeah, I'm is Roger. I'm the silent partner, I guess. <laughs> yeah. How do you? Are you from Alaska? Yeah. We're all from yeah, Alaska. Yeah, we're all from Alaska. Alaska. Did yes. you build this in Alaska? Oh no, no, it's built in Europe from Czech Republic. Oh wow. We transported over here and like, what is it made of? Like. Uh, set it up. How do you think that the rain actually positively impacted Burning Man? Look at people start walking finally. Yes. And yes. helping each other. That's the main thing. They're helping if somebody have a problem. They're helping each other and no more driving electric bikes and people was forced to walk. What Burning Man should do like one day will be bike riding Bikeless. stop. Do you <laughs> feel stranded? Man. No, no, I don't feel I stranded mean, at all. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel stranded. Why would you? I mean, this is what we're here for, right? All right, man. Thank you buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good Happy night. burn to you. Happy burn to yeah. you. White trash superstars wow. still so going, cool, though. even though uh, it's a national. I have to say, this has made me want to go to Burning Man, like much more than uh, Coachella or anything like that, just to kind of soak in the vibe. State of emergency. Welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. The track is your ear drum like a slut to your chest. What's going on there right now? You ever do pottery? Yes. You know the stuff you put stuff together with? Like the slurry? Yeah. There's like six or eight inches of that every wow, most places. Like clay. More everywhere. than 73,000 people Smish. are trapped in the mud at Burning Man in Nevada due to major flooding. A national emergency has been declared and the festival has officially closed. It's not Mike's closed. Mike's got the MIR on in the trailer. Oh, says, the media. It's closed. If you try and drive on the roads, you'll get a ticket. More rain's coming. September 3rd at 9 a.m. From what I'm hearing right now, the gate is not going to be open until uh, tomorrow in the middle to later part of the day. I just felt really called to make a piece of media about this, even though it has nothing to do with what I normally make content about because I'm here on the ground. And after seeing what was portrayed in all of the news, yeah, and actually just... being here on the ground and seeing Very the, like, the actual burner community coming together, people helping each other out, people making the most of the situation that they're in instead of getting stuck and not just physically but mentally in the state of this is bad that we're stuck here. It's just a really strange thing that I witnessed and yeah. have been a part of and felt really obligated to make a piece of media. State of emergency. I mean, come on. Like the media definitely sensationalize a lot of things, don't they? Just to kind of get eyeballs, get clicks. You know, it's just, come on, come on. It, they looked like, it seemed that people were having a, a better time than they would otherwise. Like people were just, it seemed a lot more chill. Like the, the group of guys, they were saying, you know, people are walking around more as opposed to just being on bikes. There's still music playing. People are still eating and stuff. And it definitely, actually, it makes me want to go, like, just to experience it at least once. Any of you guys that have been to Burning Man, what's it like? You know, would you recommend it? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.